Failing to keep a proper lookout while driving, a private bus driver collided with an oncoming car that had the right of way but was traveling at more than twice the speed limit. The car driver and his two passengers ended up sustaining multiple fractures, abrasions and internal injuries. On Wednesday, January 3rd, Arumugam Subramaniam, the bus driver, pleaded guilty to driving without reasonable consideration under the Road Traffic Act. The 60-year-old Singaporean will return to court on January 25th for sentencing. The court heard that in the early morning of February 2nd, in 2021, Arumugam was driving the bus to 168 Kalang Way to pick up some workers. He was travelling along Paya Lebar Road when he approached the signalised cross-junction of Paya Lebar Road and Geelang East Central with the traffic light signalling green in his favour. As Arumugam turned into Geelang East Central, Mr Byron Fewer was driving his car along Paya Lebar Road from the opposite direction. Arumugam failed to keep a proper lookout and did not notice the oncoming car, which had the right of way. This resulted in a collision between the two vehicles. Deputy Public Prosecutor DPP Timothy Lee said that the impact caused the front portion of Mr. Fewer's car to catch fire. Mr. Fewer, along with his two passengers Nan, Sin Nyant and Joshua Chu Yong King, were taken conscious to Tan Tok Seng Hospital. Mr. Fewer sustained multiple injuries, which included fractures on his lower limb and right rib, as well as a mild, blunt cardiac injury. Mr. Chu had skull fractures. Miss Nan sustained injuries to her small and large bowels, tests on her stomach tissues, and fractures in her chest and spine area. She also had to undergo surgeries to stabilize her spine and remove a damaged section of her small intestine as well as for her colon injuries. DPP Lee said that even though there was a moderate level of harm caused by Arumugam, since all three victims sustained grievous hurt. The prosecution will be seeking a fine of between 3,000 Singapore dollars and 5,000 Singapore dollars instead of a jail term of about two weeks. This was because Mr. Fewer was speeding right before the collision and this would have made it harder for Arumugam to react in time. Since he would have had less time to stop the bus, DPP Lee added. A report prepared by the Health Sciences Authority stated that Mr. Fewer had been driving at an average speed of 123 km per hour to 146 km per hour before the collision well above the prescribed speed limit of 50 km per hour along Paya Lebar Road. It was not stated in court if any action will be taken against Mr. Fewer. DPP Lee argued that although Arumugam's culpability was low, he should also be disqualified from driving for 24 months because he was a repeat traffic offender and was driving a heavy vehicle. The accused was driving a bus, which is a heavy vehicle that is more difficult to control and would have been harder to manoeuvre in response to developments on the road. So it was especially important that he kept a proper lookout and gave way to Mr. Fewer's car, he added. Anyone guilty of being a repeat traffic offender could be jailed for up to two years and fined up to five Singapore dollars. Zero, 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 or both. If the offence is in connection, with driving a vehicle, the offender could be disqualified from holding or obtaining a driving license for life or within a period that the court deems suitable.